Hey guys, this is Bluey back here with another video. So today is a Blu-ray hunting video. I know I've been doing a lot of these recently. I'm just really enjoying going out there and seeing what Blu-rays are out there. Today we're going to be going to 826 and Poundland. I'm really, really hoping this Poundland. I haven't been to this one in about a week. Hope they've got maybe a Shadows 4K, a Public Enemies Metal Pack Steelbook thing. Because my Poundlands have not had any of them. I mean, I've, I've got lucky on my Poundlands, don't get me wrong, but I'd love to see a, a Shadows 4K. That would be insane. But yeah, guys, enough of that. Um, just want to say that after, actually, when I get back, I've got a package to unbox as well. So as long as, pro I'm probably going to pick some stuff up as well as that. I've got a package to unbox, so I'm definitely guaranteed loads of Blu-rays at the end of this video. I think I know what that package is, but not 100%. So guys, if you want to leave a like, I'd really appreciate that, guys. If you'd also want to subscribe, that'd be great. We're edging on 400 subscribers and really couldn't wait to hit that. Channel announcement is going to be late later today so make sure you stay tuned for that guys again thank you for all the support in the recent videos and guys i'll see you in town and let's hope that Poundland delivers and let's see what cx and hmb brings so guys we are on the way to the train station right now i'm really hoping to see if there's anything new in cx or Poundland. but fingers crossed they've got some stuff new in Poundland. last time i went to this one really didn't have anything new they haven't got anything new for a few months now but yeah don't know what i'm gonna pick up so we're just gonna have to go into go into town um, and let's see, I've got a budget about 30 today, so I can, I'm hoping to pick up quite a few Blu-rays. See you guys, let's go up there, and I'll see you in town, and hope you guys enjoy the Blu-ray hunting. In h &B now, um, I believe Under the Silver Lake, um, starring Andrew Garfield, was a new release I missed on Monday, so yeah, that was a new release. I do like that really nice, blue, like, clear Blu-ray case and the um, blue slip cover. And Lost in Translation is another one um, by Capella's daughter, obviously the director of the Godfather movies, I'm interested in that one as well. Um, they also do have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I recently watched this one and to be honest really wasn't a fan, it was kind of fun though. Station is probably one I'm going to pick up, it looks really interesting, has a great cast and it's by Coppola, so I think it's going to be really good. Just in the regular Blu-ray section, right, looking around seeing what I want to pick up, and I just saw Wind River, now I recently watched this one on Netflix and really wasn't a fan, didn't really um, like it at all. The Wolf of Wall Street is also one I recently watched and absolutely loved it. Exist, obviously the classic horror movie has a new slipcover and also comes with a ticket to Itch House 2, so yeah, love that slipcover. I do find the cover for this Megalodon movie quite amusing because it's so similar to the Meg, obviously, movie. It would probably be a bit of fun though. The War Western section, Bone Tomahawk is a film I do want to pick up in the near future. It's at 18, so I can't pick it up today, but I do want to pick that one up in the near future. Unforgiven is also a Clint Eastwood movie that I really want to watch. Um, I have watched that one, which is terrible. Um, and The Ride is also a one that I think maybe A24, I'm not too sure, but I know it's meant to be really, really good. Um, they also do have The Longest Day, which I've heard is quite a good war film. I just do love my war films, just so many to watch. And it's the incredible one, also one of the classic war movies. In my personal opinion, it's overrated, but yeah. Dan Busters as well got a new, new Blu-ray release. That's a really nice slip cover. It's such a great film as well. Das Boot and The Deer Hunter obviously got a new 4K and that's just a regular Blu-ray slip, but it's a really nice slip. Series section, I just want to say that this is a great series of Planet Earth and Blue Planet, narrated by David Attenborough, amazing. Do you have a Criterion here? Don't know anything about that series though. Um, we do also have Doctor Who's, the, the David Tennant ones on Steelbook. These are definitely my favourite Doctor Who series, David Tennant and Christopher Eccleston. Absolutely love these ones. And these Steelbooks are really nice, the colours and the gloss and it's really nice. They are £35, which is very expensive. We do have Luther, which is a series I kind of enjoy. It yourself, but it's really good in it. And Sopranos, which is a series I really need to get around to watching since I've heard non stop amazing things about that one. I know it's one of the greatest television series. And the Pacific, Peaky Blinders. Um, and we're also up here, we do have Band of Brothers, which is my actually favourite series of all time. This documentary called McQueen's was a very good documentary. Definitely recommend that one to any people who like are interested in design and stuff. That was a really, really good documentary. Also, The Kid, I think, is in quite a new release with Ethan Hawke as well. I heard mixed things about it, but it does look kind of interesting. CX now, and it does appear that the cul-de-sac criterion has sold out, which is kind of a bummer. I'm not too sad, though. Also, this Batman animated collection, which is a really nice box set. Looks really cool. Big Sick, which is a herd movie. I've heard a lot of good things about Boys in the Hood, Bad Boys with Will Smith, and Steelbook, which is actually quite a nice Steelbook. Have a good day to Die Hard on Steelbook, the Die Hard movie. I was not a fan of that movie, and Speed, which is a great action. 
do have a quiet place on 4k for 10 pounds so i've heard this is a great film obviously starting and then you learn some john kuzinski but that's a great one um i'm gonna pick that one up on blu-ray and i need to watch it and we also have the man with no name to which is a great film. I do believe this title is getting a 4K release. It's a great film. I'm probably going to stick to my regular Blu-ray, but definitely pick up a 4K if you don't have it. Some charity shop, they do actually have a few Blu-rays, like Edge of Darkness with Mel Gibson, a few of the Hunger Games movies, like Catching Fire, my favourite of the um, collection, and Mock J Part 1. And also, I've got a few other Blu-rays. But they also do Gavin and Stacey, which is a series I love. I'm probably going to pick this one up next. All the generic titles in Pound are nothing new, so I'm going to probably head home and show you guys what I picked up. So guys, we are back from town. We did pick up a lot of things actually, like things from CEX, charity shops, H and V. Um, so yeah, definitely we'll get into that as soon as I've unboxed this package. I think this is a bundle of Blu-rays I got for a really cheap. I think this was ten pounds. I got all these for, um, but I don't. I'm not hundred percent what it is. So this is probably me quite a job to open. Should be all right. I think. Yeah, okay, there you go. We've got it. Need to cut through here. And then we'll get opening. There you go, there you go. And it, I think we just, just the sellotape off. And yeah, this is this little bundle of Blu-rays I ordered. Um, I think this was £10, something along, uh, along that region. But obviously, I think there's a lot of Blu-rays in here. A lot of Blu-rays and... 10 to 12 pounds first one a lot of these actually weren't included in the pictures Bit, maybe a few bonuses first one when you get in this little haul is the raid i um, don't know anything about this movie i've heard of it i've heard it's really good and five stars in empire as well so yeah we're really happy with this one i don't remember seeing this one in the pictures but it is brand new and it comes with a slip cover as well so really happy with that that is the raid Next one, oh, there are a few doubles in here, like There Will Be Blood, do you already have this one on Blu-ray, but maybe you put this in a giveaway or something like that. Um, Mission Lars, like no clue what this is, um, but it looks good, it looks like it's got some good reviews. Um, may check this one out in the future, but I have no clue what it is, um, but again, this is just a Blu-ray bundle that I bought it for a few select titles that were in it. Next one is a double black swan. Do you already have this one on Blu-ray? But yeah, I'm probably going to be giving some of these away since they're all brand new. And this one actually has a white case on it as well. So yeah, I guess one of you guys would want that. Um, million Dollar Baby. <laughs> already got this one in, um, I think, in a sort of charity shop thing. Uh, quite a, in, earlier, earlier on in the summer. But that is Million Dollar Baby. Excellent, excellent movie. These are all the doubles. So I'll show you them all at the end of the package. I can see one I'm really happy with, that's a need. I'll show you all the doubles first. The Martian, I have three copies of this film. I didn't even like this one that much. I've just came around to having a steelbook, a regular Blu-ray, and now this. But yeah, that one probably be given away as well. Um, and I believe the rest are not doubles. No, we've got two more, I believe. Yeah, two more aren't doubles. Next one is Matthew McConaughey and Dallas Buyers Club. And finally, the final double. This was £12, so you have to bear in mind that these are actually a pound a piece. And then Captain Phillips as well. So these are all the doubles. If anyone will be interested in any of these, leave me, let me know in the comments down below. We have Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, The Martian, Million Dollar Baby, Black, Squ Black Swan, what am I going on about? And There Will Be Blood, which loads of them are brand new, some of them are sealed as well. Um, then we get into the ones that I bought this haul for. Um, first one is Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. I love the theme song for this movie, but I've never actually watched the film. I've heard this is a very, very, very good movie. Definitely going to watch this one, and it actually won Best Picture. I don't know what year, 1988. So yeah, this is quite an old one, but Hans Zimmer did an excellent soundtrack to this movie. So definitely going to be checking this one out in the near future. Um... Other one is Gone Baby Gone. I've heard this one's also a very, very good film. It's got Casey Affleck, Michelle Monaghan, Morgan Freeman, and Ed Harris. Um, this one looks really good. I've heard this is a really good film. Um, and I like this shiny sort of cover to it. And this one's brand new and sealed as well. And the final one is the one that I'm most happy with. I've never watched this film. It's a crime. I've not watched it. 
I call myself a Scorsese fan, and I've not watched Raging Bull. I, I'm a criminal. But yeah, Robert De Niro in Raging Bull. I cannot wait to watch this one. Definitely, definitely going to give this one one a watch in the near future. Um, and this is brand new and sealed. And these really three are the ones I bought the lot for. Raging Bull, Gone Baby, Gone and Rayman. So to be honest, I was buying for these. So these three for £4 each is a good price. Let alone all of these coming as a bonus. You know, and I'm actually really happy with the raid as well. Because I've heard this is really good. So I'm definitely going to give this one a watch. But all the others, like, I'm not really interested in this. It doesn't look interesting. So all of these, if you're interested, leave in the comments down below. And we'll maybe sort out a deal for them. Now let's get into our, our HMV pickups. So we've already got four nice blue rays for the collection. The raids, Raging Bull, Gone Baby Gone and Rain Man. Let's get into our pickups from today. One charity shop pickup is actually a DVD. We did get Gavin and Stacey. Really great series. And for me, this one hits home because I, my gran comes from um, Cardiff. And I go to I go to where this was filmed in Barry um, a lot. So, yeah, this is really cool. I've, I've been there so many times to Barry. It's a lovely place. You know, it's a bit grotty, but for me, it hits home. So, seeing all the scenes on the, um, on the seafront in Barry was really cool. And seeing all the houses... But it's so distinct, the houses in this, that they are in a Welsh sea town. Because you can see what they're made out of, like the certain stone they're made out of. But yeah, this is a, an amazingly good series. Absolutely love it. Definitely one of my favourite BBC comedies. Not up there with Come Fly With Me, but still, I was probably on the level of Little Britain. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and obviously James Gordon's really good in it as well. But I think this is the first two series. Um, they're just the regular DVDs. Uh, but they came in this slip, and obviously giving to a charity shop is good. And the fact that this is something I do kind of want, um, I, I just said, why not? It's, it was £2 for two series of a TV show. That's an absolutely great price. And, you know, getting to a charity shop is a win-win situation. You get a nice addition of a series or film you like, and you're giving back to charity. In this case, it was Oxfam. I did get this one from. Okay, then we'll go on to our CEX pickups. We did get the first one is a Jaquin Phoenix film, and that is her. This is a movie I've not watched, but I'm trying to watch every single Jaquin Phoenix movie where he plays the lead role before Joker, because I really want to get a sense of him as an actor. Like, I've only watched his movie, I've really only watched Mary Magdalene, the recent film, which I thought was pretty good, and The Master, which is an excellent film. But yeah, this one looks absolutely amazing. Like, the reviews on the back make it sound incredible, and obviously, I know Jaquin Phoenix got a lot of love his role in this movie so it was five pound kind of pricey but i'm really looking forward to watching this one next one is one of my favorite action movies of all time and a movie that i think keanu reeves has forgotten for and it's really sad that he is that is speed incredible film so much tension and keanu reeves plays an amazing role in it also this one was four pounds so these two are quite pricey like for cx usually you find some two pound blu-rays in there um, but this one, I said, why not? Because on eBay, it's going for £6, and I really want to pick it up. It's mint condition and everything. You get the disc and a little booklet. So, yeah, really look forward to watching re to re watching Speed, since I've not watched this one in a few years now. And I love Keanu Reeves, obviously. He's such an inspirational person, and Dick Kaboom was amazing. And uh, obviously, I do enjoy the John Wick films as well. But I know it's the new one, so probably going to watch that one too. But yeah, that is Speed. Then to my HMV pickup, we did get the first one is a war movie. This is one of the few war movies I've not watched, but this is apparently one of the best um, war movies ever. This is Oliver Stone's Platoon. This and Thin Red Line are really the only two like, old war movies that are considered classics that I've not watched. But yeah, this is looks really William Dafoe being one of my favourite actors. Well, not my favourites, but a really good actor. Um, and this one looks really good. And this was in the 2 for 13 deal. So I did get two 2 for 13 Blu-rays. So it ended up being £26. No, not, I got four 2 for 13 Blu-rays, sorry. Um, but yeah, won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Director, film editing, sound in 1986. So I really cannot wait to watch this one as I do love war movies. And Band of Brothers is my favourite series of all time. Next one is Steve McQueen in Bullet. I do not own The Great Escape. I'm really happy to own Bullet. Um, I'm gonna, definitely going to buy The Great Escape one day. Um, but I do, I've not actually watched Bullet. Um, it's really bad. I've not watched this one since I know this one has amazing action. I know it's got like, one of the best car chases of all time, apparently. Obviously, probably won't be the Italian job. But still, I'm really looking forward to this one. I love that cover as well. It's a really like retro cover. Very of its time. But for me, that is so nice. Such a cool cover, and this was in 2013, so obviously, yep, um, great cast, and cannot wait to watch this movie, it looks really good, 
and I'm very really happy to get more classics in the collection like Platoon, you know, Platoon, this, Bullet. So the next two are both by the same family. One is by the father and one is by the daughter. Um, they are both by the Coppola family. The first one is by Coppola's daughter and that is Lost in Translation by Sofia Coppola. This one stars Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. So an amazing cast. I've heard this is a very, very good movie. Obviously, um, Francis Coppola is one of the best directors ever since he made the Godfather movies, which are considered probably the, some of the best films of all time. And this one I've not watched, and I'm really looking forward to watching this. Lost in Translation. It's amazing, amazing that such an amazing film director, his daughter, can even make an amazing movie. It just, it, I don't, it's crazy. Maybe there's genes of being a good film director. But yeah, Lost in Translation looks really good and so happy to pick this one up. Final one is by Francis Coppola. Um, not The Godfather. It is The Conversation. Um, I've heard this is an amazing film. Gene Hackman Harrison Ford looks really good, and I really like this slip cover. It's not your regular slip cover, it's one that like slides into the Blu-ray. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm definitely gonna watch this one in the near future. I've said that about all the movies I picked up today, but yeah, this one looks really good. Studio Canal film. Um this was in two for thirteen. And yeah, I was actually asked for ID in HMV. That's one of the first times not being asked for ID, so let's hope that carries on because being asked for ID is annoying. Um because I usually don't have it on me. But yeah. Looks really good, and this is the collector's edition, so I don't know. This contains a lot of special features, as you guys can see. Um, but yeah, looking forward to watching the conversation. So those are all my pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed that little Blu-ray hunting video and all my pickups. Um, obviously, that package does have some really good titles in it. Raging Bull probably being the one that I'm looking forward to the most. But The Raid, Gone Baby Gone, and Rain Man are also films I'm looking forward to. Quickly go over my pickups we did get from HMV. The Conversation. Lost in Translation, Steve McQueen in Bullets, and Platoon, War Film, and CX2 Blu rays, Speed, and Her with Joaquin Phoenix, The Future Joker, which looks insane, and Gavin and Stacey. So, guys, those are my Blu ray pickups. Hope you guys enjoyed that little short Blu ray hunting video. Your guys' support's amazing. Announcement channel coming soon today or tomorrow, guys. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like or just subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure to follow my Instagram at blue underscore view. That'd be very much appreciated, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.